Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Genio Bioscience. Today we are going to discuss about the CDR that is called complement determining reason or hypervariable reason and we are going to discuss about the framework reason. So let's first discuss the complementary determining reason. We all know that this is the variable part of an antibody. This is the light chain and this is the heavy chain. So a part of the variable chain in immunoglobulins or antibodies and T cell receptor where these molecules bind to their specific antigen. A site of CDR constitutes parato. Parato means it is a site of antibody where an antigen can bind. So CDR from heavy chains and light chains come together in three dimensions to give the antigen recognizing site. There are three CDR, CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3 which are arranged in the variable region of both heavy chain and light chains which I have discussed. This is the variable part of the light chain and this is the variable part of the heavy chain. So in the variable part, three CDRs are present, CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3. In total, in the light chain and heavy chain, total 6 CDRs are present. Since the antigen receptors are typically composed of two variable domains on two different polypeptide chains that is heavy and light, so there are 6 CDRs for each antigen receptor that can collectively come in contact with the antigen. So the antibodies with different combining sites have different complementary determining reason while well, antibodies of the exact same specificity have identical complementary determining reason. So this is an example of beta pleated structure. Beta pleated structure you can see in the secondary structure of a protein. Protein is a sequence of amino acid we all know that. Then in the secondary structure the protein gets folded by the help of hydrogen bonds. And they form the alpha helix and the beta pleated structure. So this is the beta pleated structure in which the CDRs are mounted. So the hypervarial reasons are all usually called as CDRs. So these CDRs you can also call that as hypervariable reason as in this case only the variability is more as compared to the blue portion. So it is also called hypervariable region. So you can say it is HB1, HB2 and HB3. The variable domain contains two more beta strand than the constant domain. This is the constant domain and this is the variable domain. And you can see that in the variable domain, the red part, the red part is extra two more beta strands than the constant domain. Then what is the framework reason? So the reasons between the complementary determining reason. These are the complementary determining reason which have high variability and the reasons between this complementary determining reasons are called the framework reason. And in the framework reason, the variability is very low. So you can say the variable portion is divided into very hypervariable reason or CDR reason and framework reason. The hypervariable reasons have a higher ratio of different amino acid in a given position. So variability of the amino acids you can say relative to the most common amino acid in that position. So you can say the three areas of the variable reason are very much hyper variable or you can say highly variable and form a distinct loop like structure. They are called as CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3. The other areas of the variable reason are more consistent. In the blue part that is the framework reason that area is more consistent in amino acid sequence and they are referred to as framework reason. So that's all about the CTR, the hypervariable reason and the framework reason. Let's summarize this once again. This is the variable part of the light chain and this is the variable part of the heavy chain. 
so the variable part of the light chain and heavy chain divisible into two parts first one is the complemented determining reason or you can say the hyper variable reason which in that you can find the variation in the amino acids but the blue part is the intervening reason the blue part is called the framework reason in there the amino acids are consistent so you can say in the framework reason the variability is less that's all for now i hope it will help you thank you